Let's get more on this now from our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega. And Cecilia, on this Roy Moore Senate race, we're seeing a real evolution in the White House position on Roy Moore as you and others in the White House briefing room press uh, Sarah Sanders and others every single day. They're now inching towards some support of Moore. Let's listen. Obviously, the president wants people, uh, both in the House and the Senate, that support his agenda. But as I've said, and uh, as the Hatch Act prohibits me from going any further, we certainly think that this is something that the people of Alabama should decide. Yeah, so that had been the default answer of this White House, that essentially it's up to Alabama voters to decide. But it started with Kellyanne Conway here on the North Lawn of the White House yesterday. She was asked if Alabamans should uh, support Roy Moore in this race. Her answer was that she bashed his Democratic opponent, Doug Jones, and offered what sounded very much like an endorsement of Roy Moore. So right now, this is the question for this White House and this president. Is the official, official position that it would rather see a man accused of assaulting teenage girls in office than a Democrat, George. Well, they, they certainly seem to be getting towards that, as they, as they say they want someone who supports the president's agenda in that seat. A lot of other news overnight as well, Cecilia. A setback for the president's sanctuary city policy where he wanted to deny federal funding to sanctuary cities. Yeah, these are places like uh, New York and Los Angeles, cities that limit cooperation with immigration authorities. The president wants to force them to assist in uh, deportation of undocumented immigrants by cutting off funding to these places. So far, no response from the White House on this judge's order, but the Justice Department says uh, that this court exceeded its authority. George, they are saying they will fight back. And at the same time, uh, Cecilia, the White House uh, and the administration announcing they're going to send back Haitians who came to the United States after that 2010 earthquake. Yeah, uh, Haitians here who have this protected status will be allowed to stay in the country until July 2019. This came after John Kelly, the now chief of staff, former Homeland Security director, made a trip to the island uh, earlier th this year. He came back essentially saying that Haiti has made considerable considerable progress in the wake of that earthquake there uh, and that this group can return home. Here's the problem with this, though, George. These people have been in this country for nearly a decade. They own homes. Their children have been born here. So sending them back to Haiti is going to be a lot easier said than done for this administration. Certainly. It's to see you, Vega. Thanks very much.